my name is Gretchen Maud Margaret. In the year 2008, four aspiring musicians set out on an amazing adventure for fame and glory. Two brothers, a lead guitarist, and an extremely sexy lead singer. Over a 24-hour period, I absorbed more than a lifetime's worth of memories, and I hope you will too. Presenting the Lucky Chums. wondering about how you all got together, how you, how the band came about. Oh, well, Freddie and I, of course, we grew up um, in the same one-bedroom flat, and um, we started this band, well, since we didn't have a basement and we didn't have a garage, we started it in the uh, attic, actually. It wasn't really an attic, per se. Well, I'd no, it, it, was a, a, it was a crawl space. Yeah, more of a, uh, uh, it's, it's more of a small little block of of, of, of space with just some insulin and insulation really? and um, I was just wondering, you know, who were you influenced by in the, this process of coming together? Uh, our major musical influence was uh, a Japanese bluegrass band by the name of uh, uh, Kabuki Dookie. Ah, Kabuki Dookie, yes. yes. Kabuki Dookie. Okay. Kabuki Dookie. Dookie. And, uh, um, it's an interesting band, really. It, it it's, really um, is. It really Japanese is. bluegrass. Um, it's got some music. roots up in uh, Waipa. It's a very small town up in Japan. Oh, yeah. um, they got started by actually one of the people. They ran a, a fish hatchery, and somebody dropped a fish on the guitar, the fish, and right. it slid yes, down. It slid. And they listened to the sound of it, and they really liked the sound as and it slid down the guitar. Yes, and they actually invented their own instrument. It's called the fish tar. It's the fish tar. <laughs> the fish tar. Yeah. The fish tar. And they're, I heard they're in the middle of uh, making. A new instrument as well. It's, it's right a, for the reunion it's, it's, tour. It's a mixture of a, a banjo and an accordion. A banjo. A, ban, a banjo. So I'm hearing that you're working on an acoustic album right now. Th that isn't typically what you're working on. You know, it's not your normal type of thing. Could you tell me a little bit about that? All right. Ready. All right. All right. I think Let's go. We're ready. One, two, three. Do you uh, ever get in fights, or how's your relationship, you know, different? Oh, or oh, well, I love my brother, yeah. yeah. He's a great old chap, you know. I always went, dump a chore on top I, I, I always yeah. do everything with him, you know. It's, uh, well, you know, we, well, yeah, we go golfing all the time. Go golfing, we, we share we share golf clubs. Sometimes we even share women. Share women. I mean, can I say that, actually? That's, uh, is think, that okay to say? Mm -hmm. I think it's our documentary. So the name, it's very interesting. Where exactly did that come from? Is that, is that your idea or you know, your brother's? Oh yes, uh, the Lucky Churn, or Charms. Uh, it's a, uh, well, the Lucky Charms is a... Uh, uh, charms, Lucky Charms. Yes, Lucky Charms. C-H-E-R-M-S, Charms. Uh, we, it was actually, originally our first name was Fermi Ira. Uh, we had a lot of problems with that. Uh, a, a lot of government officials thought we were involved in the Irish Republican Army, but really it was named after Emil's mother, Ira. Uh, so then we later had to change it to that blasted knack in AACP. Uh, we also got in trouble for that one because of uh, uh, some organization, I don't know, in America. Um, uh, and then we changed it to the Lucky Charms, which we... Charms. Well, originally, originally it was Lucky Charms, actually. Uh, we got in some legal issues about uh, some breakfast cereal. So we changed it to the, to the E. We just flipped the A to an E and it became Lucky Charms. Charms. You know, I, I did have some prepared questions, but I, I've right. noticed you've uh, gotten a tattoo. Oh, the tattoo, yeah. Do you like it? Mm. I just got it done, actually, on the way over here. Oh. That's probably why I'm a little late. Um, I had to rush through it, if you notice, there's a few spots where they hadn't uh -huh. color in. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's after my favorite beer, Guinness. Guinness, yeah. Guinness, yes, um, it's wonderful, but what's, what was the, the other one? Oh, this one, they started over here, they started making it, and I decided I wanted it on my left side, oh. so it'd be closer to my heart, so I had them cross it out. Of course. Actually, I didn't tell them to do that, they just did. Um, got real cross with him after that. 
So your name is email. Where exactly did that come from? How, how did you start to be called email? Well, the only reason I'm saying this is for my fans. And maybe for you. Well, anyway. My name is E. It stands for Elizabeth. Elizabeth O'Malley. Alright? That's where the mail comes from. That and the fact that I'm a man. Of course, you wouldn't have to search far to find the fact that I'm a man no. just around the hair. Of course it is. Um, so your name is Elizabeth, then? Yes. My name is Elizabeth. Oh, well... Very manly. Yes, it's quite masculine, Elizabeth. Um, um, let's talk about your family. Where, where is it that, that you come from? Who, what were your parents like? What was your upbringing like? What, what has made you who you are today? Oh, I see. Well, They're not even Irish. They're from Medina, Texas. This beer, it's just water. <laughs> <laughs> 